now I want to show is a charge one demonstration. There are three burettes filled with different molecules. First one is hexane, the second one is isopropanol, and the third one is water. What I'm going to do is take a, a charged one by using cat fur. You can also use wool or silk. We're going to put the wand up to the liquid and see if the liquid is attracted towards the charge or not. We're going to start with water. What do you see with the water? Is water attracted to the wand? Let's try hexane next. And here's isopropanol. It also is attracted to the charged wand. It's not called a magic wand, but it tends to do amazing things with these molecules. Now when we look at molecules, there must be something about the molecule that causes them to be attracted towards the charge one. So it must be something with the placement of the electrons in the molecule itself, in the whole molecule. So the negative side of the charge one attracts the positive side of the water molecule. There must be a positive and negative side of the molecule. So how are those electrons distributed? This is called bond polarity. This will allow us to predict which molecules are attracted to a charge one and how the electrons, are they distributed uniformly or are they not distributed uniformly on the molecule that cause it to be attracted to a charge one. We look here at fluorine F2. Both F and F are identical You'll see the colors aren't the same because there is a charge distribution between the fluorines. However, if you look at each end, what is uniform? Oh, they look identical on each end, so this is called a symmetrical molecule. And each end of the molecule have identical sides. So if you had a charged wand next to it, would it be attracted? No, it wouldn't. If you look here at HF, H and F are not the same. And so as they compete for the electron pair in the middle, who's winning? Fluorine's winning. So the fluorine side is shown as a delta negative and a delta positive. This is a polar bond with two poles, a negative pole and a positive pole. And the delta means a slight charge. In the bottom example, we got lithium fluoride, where the electron is completely transferred. So we don't have a partial charge, we have a real charge, and this is an ionic bond. So we've got a range between covalent with F2 and ionic and LIF, and in between there is the polar covalent, which is a partial charge with a movement of the charge, movement of the shared electrons. They're not transferred completely.